You wait. So, welcome to day two of our canyon launch a bike. Just had uh, breakfast and early start because the weather's about to uh, hit pretty hard by judging by the forecast. So just picking bikes up, everybody got their bikes set up last. Everybody got their bikes set up yesterday, like you saw. So we're ready to roll pretty early and uh, hit up a, what should be a 25K loop through the Forest of Dean and then some add-ons if the weather permits. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna try and introduce you to all the people involved in the launch like this, whether it's on the Canyon side or on the uh, you know photography side. We've got Joe here doing media. We've got Rue here doing pictures. So uh, catch up with those guys while we're riding or while we're at launch. They can tell you what part they play in this pantomime, what part they play in launching this brand new Spectral trail bike in the UK. Here's my ride to the day. Quick recap. My CF7 there. So that's the entry level carbon fibre bike. Box 36 rhythm. Canyon Zone G5 cockpit. SLX stop and go throughout. Minion Max Terra on the rear. That's the guy, Max Terra on the front. Oh, it's an Exo Plus at the rear as well. And 29 at both ends. You can configure this bike from mullet by using the little chainstay chip there. But this is long, the 29 rear wheel, get the clearance in there, and some really nice detailing. Just in things like that. Chainstay protector, ceiling on that, and uh, you can't really see it on these bikes, but the uh, colorways, the way they split the color, they like block that out in black on the CF9. We'll have a look at that later if we get a chance. You've got the KIS steering, Stabiliser in there, got the mini pump in there. I mean, I'm obviously going to do a... Obviously going to do a full uh, bike check uh, as part of the tech check and as part of the bike test. But, you know, we may as well cover off some of the details now. It's, you know, thinking about them from the minute I see the bike. So uh, you may as well be involved in that process as well. But, yeah, it looks like we're ready to ride. Get a little sprint on, get some heat in the brakes. So obviously we've got to capture a bunch of media when we're doing these launches. So it's Liam from Offroad dropping in. Chris. Hi. Making it look ready for the downtime podcast. Mate, these shots are gonna look sick. Not ready for anything. Sick on the podcast, mate. <laughs> Benji from Single Tracks on the gram. I'm actually putting the heating on at home. Oh child, you thought childcare. Oh look at that. Remote childcare. If it works. That's the future, mate. That's, that's the future. British gas hive. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we do we, is there a code? Is there a code for single track uh, subscribers Should that they get somewhere. hive cheap? Got it wrong. Get Hannah working on it. I don't think anyone yeah. gets any heating cheap, do they? Right, well I'm getting cold, let alone your eating going on, so I'm gonna crack on. Yeah, go that's for all it. right. Right, let's find Rue in his lens. Oh, I tell you what. Bloody sensitive the suspension on this. Here it is. You wait. Okay, yeah, because I've done some more work bedding the brakes in, that's for sure. I think I'm a little light on the rebound too. That feels nice and it's got a really light fluid feel to it. We're good? Who's the, is the Seb at the back? Yeah. 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 We get the bangers? Do we get the nugs? I think we're gonna, they're just gonna get what they can on the way through on this one. And then yeah. we'll, um, we'll like do some more dedicated session in. Dedicated session in. So in content right now. Right. And today is actually a bit different because it's basically just a kind of bedding in ride really. You know, while we're here with the Canyon crew, because we get to take the bikes home afterwards. Often I've literally only got a day or a few hours. So like shoot a bunch of video, record a first ride, get all my thoughts down, work through all the different settings and processes of testing. So it's nice to uh, a bit more of a relaxed setup, kind of work on the B-roll. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm still doing all that testing and processing and getting those first thoughts done and thinking, 
they definitely should have put a bit more pressure in with shock. I think their sag recommendations may be a little on the soft side. So I'll whip the shock pump up as soon as we get a stop. But otherwise, yeah, a bit less pressure, which is why I thought I'd do something different. Why I thought I'd do a, uh, you know, kind of how it works, the press launch. But I'm just making this first ride. So I can do a proper in-depth live ride review. Okay, so while we're just doing some of the transfer riding, yeah. let's meet who else is on the launch. Me, Sebastian, from Kenyan. Yeah, being here with a bunch of people, getting to ride the new Spectra. In brilliant conditions, no rain, yeah. no mud. Not, not yet, not, not yet. yet. Not pretty, yet. pretty good for the UK. Yeah, yeah. So come on, you're saying from Canyon. Yes. You have a pretty important role at Canyon. Kinda. Come on, come on, spill the beans. A global category director yeah. uh, for a month, Mike. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a pretty big role. So it's really cool that we get yeah. to ride with you and kind of pick your brains about the bike, about things like launch strategies and stuff like that. It's always so joyful to to get to ride with you, bike, uh, you guys and uh, to get your feedback get some impressions uh, from a different viewpoint, a different view angle. So it's uh, so beneficial for all of us. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, sick, but it's sick that you're out here riding. Now, I think that's a big, that's a big tick in my box. When it comes to thinking about bikes, it comes to thinking about, you know, the way they're designed and developed. It's yeah. a big tick when you're out riding with us guys. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a massive plus. Absolutely. So thanks a lot. Thanks a lot yeah. for coming out. Thanks a lot for the invitation. Thank you. Cheers, man. Cheers. Whoa! <laughs> Lost it! Brap, brap, brap. Get that padding shot, Joe! Make it happen! <laughs> oh, this is just naturally fun. I mean, they said it was like playful and poppy, but absolutely! Look at me having the sense! <laughs> Just sick to be riding dry trails, to be honest. Oi, nice lift. Oh, those cables tamed now, so that's a lot quieter. There's a bit of internal storage rattle. Sounds a bit e bike -y, but... Nice. Oh, these trails are sick. Yeah, just shoving the Max Terror on the front there, pop. Oh, it really is, yeah. Because I've actually dropped the travel on this bike. Which is the first time I've seen a brand do that in a long time. It was a 150, 160 fork. Now it's 150 fork, 140 rear. And it really helps it hop and drive. They said they learnt a lot off the Spectral 125 and for anything. This bike feels livelier. Yeah. This is lively, isn't she? A bit hot. Top job, Mr. Nye's like, whatever, pop and playful. Mate. Like it. Boom, yeah. Nice. Right, Jack Noy, Canyon. Yeah. What's your part in this beautiful proceedings that we are involved in now? Uh, so I'm the brand manager for this bike and the rest of the gravity bikes. Yeah. And um, yeah, we've done a few little leader introduction events and this one's for the UK crew. Yeah. And yeah, you know, Forest Dean. Right. Rob, one of the guys from oh, Canyon UK, is taking us to Park End Trails and Sorry, good for the runs, hopefully. Yeah, so. sweet. So you're kind of, you, I mean, you you kind of, are you involved in the range planning on this bike? I know you're involved in like some of the testing of parts. You know, where, yeah. where do you fit into the whole spectral picture? What, what pies have you got fingers in, as it were? So I guess at the start, I'd take more of a listening role. Um, yeah. All the engineers and product managers do that thing. Um, and then once it gets kind of close to the final and a sample frame's ready, then yeah, I'm lucky enough to get my grubby little mitts on one and... Yeah, because you're a handy rider. Again, you know, you're a handy rider. I don't know. You're a fun wheel to follow. Not that I um, can keep up, but you know. And uh, yeah, to start to feel out the bike and then start to work on, yeah, how we're going to communicate it. Obviously, we have an idea of what a Spectral is. It's a trail bike. It sits yeah. in the middle of our portfolio, but just the qualities we want to try and include in our communication to you and to the customer. Yeah. And that really comes from just spending a couple of months riding the bike and taking on board all the 
objectives that engineers had. Yeah. Um, and hopefully putting it all together into a, a cool campaign. And a so you're covering the media in terms of us reporting on it. You're covering. Are you covering the marketing in terms of the assets you make in there, the content you make in there? Yeah, it's all a team team effort, for sure. Because the Canyon marketing team is big now, isn't it? Got a big crew. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Just a team effort. Yeah. We've got a really cool social team, producers to help yeah, us with getting assets and films and photos prepared. But yeah, I guess I kind of sit in the middle of that and just yeah. check everything's going. Yeah, and help out where I can. So yeah, yeah. Cool. Really good. Really key coordination role. Coordination, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of yeah. coordination. Interesting. But, uh, but it's obviously, yeah. So is it, like is, it, is it your fault, you know, the lineup we've got here today? Is that, is that, do you have input on that Motley crew or is that Aaron? Uh, what, or uh, Rob? The crew on the, on the ride. The yeah. That's the usual suspects though. Yeah, it is. I was, going, I was saying that earlier. It's kind of gone back. I was saying that to Seb. It's just like a few years back, there was quite a lot of like young people coming in. We were like, <laughs> And now it's just our, all us grizzled old gatekeepers. Just suspects, but it's good. It's just solid crew today. It's, yeah, you know, really good. What we want, so yeah. We're gonna get good few runs in. Yeah, yeah. So. Sweet. Cheers, Jack. Cheers, Thanks guys. for the invite. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's about the case of jump. And here, in the forest of Dean, we see the knowledge in its natural habitat. Hunting for bangers and nugs amongst the trees of Gloucestershire. I have to say, this hustles really nicely. Up and along too. Everybody else is coming up the fire road, so I'll just pop in, grab some climbing single track instead. Just check they're coming this way. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, quite a soft level of anti-squat, but really good support through the middle of the shock. So, well, there's a good amount of traction. Doesn't feel like you're fighting through a bunch of soggy stuff. A little bit of nose off, kind of specialised FSR style, as you'd expect. But otherwise, sweet. And yay! <laughs> yep! Push some downtime, getting some downtime. <laughs> nice one, Seb. That would be one? Yeah, I think so. So, Rick, you've been doing this for a long old time now, yeah? Long time now, yeah. 15 years or so? Yeah. So, first, first time on this trail, so it's fresh at least. Yeah. But I guess every shoot's just kind of fresh? Uh, trying to work something? I mean, you've got to get way. some yeah, stock some images. Way. Yeah. 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 Light's different on the day, like condition you're in some different trail and different seasons. So yeah. yeah, something's always different. Yeah. And you trying to like I mean I guess I know you know you've been in the presentation with us, you know what they're wanting from this bike, and I guess you're trying to illustrate that narrative as well. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely like fun. Doesn't have to be mega gnarly, but just fun as much yeah. as possible. Yeah. So it's kind yeah, of natural just, flowing. Yeah, yeah. Popping off stuff like yeah, this here. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Cheers, dude. Let me get packed away and catch up. Properly getting into this bike now. Major buck off that one. Third run down this trail, so should know what I'm doing, but it's actually nice having it a little bit shorter. Actually on the medium, that was Canyon's advice, so 475 reach. So it just feels that little bit more agile. Feel great to be honest. Yeah, but SLX is such a good setup as well. Nice how Shimano brakes you can totally trust in. We are trying to work out what that rattle is. So, this does sound like a boshy bike. 
in places. You? <laughs> Just feels really nice and poppy. Really, yeah. Hopping and moving around nicely, this bike. Yeah, I haven't had the scales on it, but this, you know, this is going to be the heavier one with the SLX and the rhythm and stuff. Alloy wheels, you know, the CF9. Probably going to be a fair bit lighter, but yeah, it just feels like a proper playful trail bike. Absolute winner so far. You know, first first time they've not. Increasingly on press launches, it kind of feels like they haven't done a huge amount to the bikes. You know, internal storage is obviously new, but otherwise it's just little tweaks. But it keeps being the case that they actually feel really significantly different in the way they ride. This with the you know, smoother, more flexible rear end, and still with a tight front end, really brings some playfulness back into the dynamic and little bits of shock change. Yeah, all plays really, really well. The only, the biggest criticism I have with the old Spectral was it just felt a bit dead. And inevitably, when you get a bunch of mountain bikers stood in a wood on a test launch, you get a lot of chatting, a lot of waiting, waiting to drop in, waiting for the photographers to be ready. Come on, do I drop in? <laughs> do I drop in? Are they ready for me? Are they ready for this kind of... Just waiting for you. Why are they waiting for you? I got called out this time. <laughs> Yeah, I've got I've got the least time left to live. Then it's always good to ride with the youngsters, keeping you honest on the edge, getting the drops in. Hey, <laughs> nice parking, Rob. Parking ride spot. <laughs> so that coil working out well for you then. <laughs> Yeah, that's the CF8 collected bike. I think that's why Rob parked it into that tree so we could get a good side-on shot. That sick paint scheme for that coil shock. Mullet back end is standard. So that's your more steezy park bike option. Which is why Rob parked it on that tree, I guess. <laughs> Hope I've got you some good shots there. Boom, yeah. Nice parking shot, mate. Now time for a lunch stop. Dean Forest Cycles. That's one good thing about having a bike that doesn't look that different. It's the previous model, you can just park them up. Some people probably aren't going to realise they're looking at something they're not supposed to see yet. See, Rue's getting arty, so now Joe has to get artier. I love this. I love photographer ops, you see. I mean, I know nothing about cameras, but Joe's clearly got a bigger one, so that's better. So he's going to look way more arty. Is that right, Joe? I believe that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. So you're mostly the moving pictures today, aren't you? Just moving. Just moving. And soundtracking it have with Gangster's Paradise. Have you been moving fast enough today? I don't know, mate. It's going to be stop, go animation. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be like, what's his name? Har the guy who did like Jason and the Argonauts, so like Ray Harryhausen, I'm that was it. Go. Yeah, I'm missing out, mate. Stop go motion skeletons, yeah. mythical creatures. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the camera thought you were going so slow, it thought you were. Yeah, mate. Swordfish torpedoed the Bismarck because the guns were not calibrated to go slow enough to pick it up. That's, that's what I'm working on here. Sorry, yeah. you know, you know, I've got to get you on camera, Chris. <laughs> Chris Hall, Downtime Podcast. Hi. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Make sure you listen. To, who's coming up? Come on, who's next? Yeah. Who's next? When's well, no, this going out? I don't know. No, well, it'll be after the 22nd, won't it? So Who have we got lined up? It's an embargo. Up? Yeah. That's a good question. Uh, Mooned Media, Dan nice. Griffiths. Okay. Uh, Brad Sims. Yeah. yeah. Brad, the BMXer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turned mountain biker. Yeah, I'll have to think so. Who I don't know. What? Don't, don't know, mate. Watch secret. Watch this space. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. <laughs> and watch Chris for more Canyon content as well. Yes, there'll be you're some saying, stuff You're going to get some old spectral, spectral, new spectral stuff yeah, as well. back to back. So. And we'll have a chat with Leo, the main engineer behind it as well. So Sweet. Should be good. Cheers, Chris. Great nice. riding with you as always. You too, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Now you know how everyone else is. Yeah, it's just revenge attack, that, mate. I have to say, Park End Bike Shop, Dean Forest Cycles, absolutely belting little spot 
for uh, some sandwiches, soup, and all your bicycle needs. Cracking joint. So if you're out riding the Park End trails like we have been, make sure you drop in. So continuing the series of who's making this launch happen, here's Rob Frith, who so far, all I know about you is you're an ex-geologist. His Tinder profile was based on Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy quotes. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you're still available? No, no. Ah, oh, it kind of did work then, maybe. Sun sucker fell for it. <laughs> so, what's your role with Canyon here? I'm an events guy. I, uh, I bring Canyon out to the public, get people a chance to ride on the bikes. See Show that site, like festival events, demos. Spot on, yeah. Kind of this. Yeah. Yeah, so trying to get people a chance. You know, we're not just a website give people the opportunity to try before you buy yeah. see what we're all about because that's got to be even more crucial to you because you're not working with the bike shop network right spot on yeah we have started um partnering with affiliate service partners so okay. if you have an issue you can take your bike to them yeah but so yeah, how do people find out about those they're on the website um you can find like under service and warranty right our map of service partners we're like oh, building sweet. It out. okay yeah but obviously yeah we're not you can't try your bike before you buy in any bike shop. On the internet. Apple Apple goggles haven't got that good yet. No, not that good. Yeah, so that's me. Sweet. Thanks for having us, love. Yeah, no worries. After lunch riding, what we got, Rob? Oh, we got Joe on the lens. That's good. Let's make it look drifty. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, missed the pocket. Oh, they said it'd be steeper after lunch. That's definitely the trace. Come on, Kez. Wait. Geriatric jumping. That's my speciality. Come on. Yes. It's quite nice having the medium. It's easy to get, remember to get forwards. Don't even know if this is the correct line. Ah, it's all the kind of same thing. Whoop, okay, steep. That's people down the bottom. I can see my peripheral, that'll do. Bit of a rut turn. Ah, oh, I shortcutted that. And then in here, boom, sweet. Are we going now now? Oh, absolutely, we're going now now, Jack. <laughs> so Jack's gonna kind of talk us through a bit more on the, like, the decisions around an actual press launch like this. Yeah, um, so I think launching a new bike as a brand you you obviously want the opportunity to explain all the hard work and the innovation and the features you put into the bike to the media so doing that in person is always kind of preferred I think during covid we you know we're kind of forced to do it online a lot of teams meetings and those yeah. kind of things and did you see a lot of like mistakes and stuff creeping in because of like miscommunication creeping in because of that honestly not too bad um, and, and we kind of were fearing more, but at the same time, there's definitely efficiencies to that. Like, so, you know, shipping a bike to someone, they can immediately test it at home. Yeah. No one's got to travel anywhere and give up hours of their day. But like I said, you miss that kind of quiet time and like, yeah. um, casual chats away from kind of the, you know, the product presentation. Yeah, which are often the most informative. Yeah. And that's honestly when I guess you guy and and other media get the chance to ask those little bit left field questions yeah which um might not occur when you sat yeah, around the and, table and ultimately riders and readers are interested in that viewers so um so yeah the in-person stuff's great and then we um yeah we tried to at least on this launch just thought okay well let's try and minimize travel time a little bit for you guys yeah so we kind of just went to the key well it's more countries it's more spectrum. relatable to yeah. use that horrible word yeah if we're actually riding on trails like the people watching the channel and the people actually, you know, that we're used to. Yeah. And that uh, the people riding the bikes are used to. Totally. And it's all very well going to someone foreign exotic, but... Yeah, but then you're maybe only riding the, the bike for a day or two. Yeah. Um, but at least here, hopefully we have a little shakedown today and some good times. Yeah. And then you can take the bike home and ride your local and get deep dived on. Yeah, you find it. Yeah, so that was the, yeah. that was a theory anyway. Let's see how it works yeah, out. That's working out well so far. Yeah, nice. cheers, mate. All right, 
Another greasy one. I actually played around with the steering damper a bit on this. It's got this rubber band steering stabilizer on there. This is a pretty interesting canyon innovation. But I've actually turned it off now, so I'm not getting that kind of elasticated flick back that I was before. Yeah. I can actually tell it's not censoring as much as it was before. Another thing I'm finding, it is kind of slapping through on the back. It's the old spectral, really hard getting it to use all its travel. Whereas this one, actually kind of the opposite. Finding I'm using a lot more stroke very freely. So maybe somewhere in between. Need your train. Choo choo. Woo woo. Right, I've maxed out the steering damper on this one. Apparently it gets quite steep and rutty. It's my least favorite kind of caper. Whoa, back-ended Liam. <laughs> that could go viral. That time I slotted Liam's deep rut. say this elasticated steering is uh, quite pleasant down here. That's it, come on, no to stand up. Get your weight back, Kes. Dropping in. It rides really bloody well, this bike. All right, Joe? You give the yeah. Woo! Yeah! Witness the sickness! <laughs> you! Oh! Liam's tested out his kickstand. I can't believe you got all the rest of it. You got all the really sick stuff dialed. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Whoa, what was that, Seb? I Seb's getting time. seismic in the Forest of Dean. Yeah, boy. <laughs> all right, oh, did you just clip that tree? That would be, be prime candidate, that tree. You are right, mate? What, how did you make that noise, Seb? <laughs> I saw some guys in front of my, my line. Okay, you need to go a different uh, way. Yeah, Liam, put the kickstand down. Oh, no, is he all right? Yeah, he's all right. Well, all good, Benji? Oh, Heading good. back to base now? Gotta hope so. <laughs> been a bit of an odyssey, haven't you, mate? Yeah, I've been up down. Yeah? Then down and up. Yeah? Left we good, Rob? Hell yeah. Sweet. Seb, thanks for the gig. Liam, how's your head? Good there. Good there. Sweet. All good, Luke? All good, thanks. Ruth? All good. Go! Jack? Yes. You happy with proceedings? Yeah. We've got the job done? Yeah, I think so. Sweet! What do you reckon? I reckon so, mate. What do you reckon? You happy? Very happy, mate. Yeah, happy. Had a splendid day out. <laughs> so the last person in the puzzle is the unsung hero of this whole event, Aaron. That happened. So yeah, come on, what, what's your part? Everybody else has told me what their part is in the Great Canyon launch scheme. So Just in the background, making it all smooth, make sure the bike's there. Yeah, doing all the little bits. Yeah, doing all the colouring in yeah, that makes so it a pretty picture. Yeah. Now that that sounds like no, that sounds like a massive underestimation. You you know, you pretty much set a lot of it up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just... And what's your official title at Canyon as well? Head of Sales and Marketing. There you go. Yeah. That's not a small title. No. And Everything. It's, yeah. Events, PR, marketing, all sorts. So. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. Awesome. It's been absolutely grand. Cheers. Cheers, mate. So there we go. That is, as they say, a wrap. Canyon Spectral introductory launch down at the Forest of Dean. So the guys from Canyon are packing up the bike. I've loaded my sample up, ready for the drive home. And uh, genuinely, I mean, I probably say this 
for most bikes, but genuinely really interested in uh, getting some more time in on that bike. Certainly feels like a really nice playable all-rounder because uh, I'm kind of kind of over being over biked, just staring at a big sticky front tire and just feeling like the bike's not leaving me anything to get involved with. Whereas that felt just a little bit shorter, a little bit less travel, a little more pop. Felt really, really fun and uh, playful, but also had the travel to help me out when I got, you know, started slapping into the big stuff. So yeah, certainly very, very promising. So what seems on paper, pretty minor changes, actually make it feel a very different bike on the trail, which is, you know, always interesting from a testing point of view. So massive thanks to you guys for watching. Uh, huge thanks to my Patreon subscribers for pledging on a monthly basis. Uh, they get early, exclusive and ad-free edits as a thank you. And massive thanks to my channel supporters. Uh, they'll be listed at the end of the video. But otherwise, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, click for notifications and tell your mates about it. And obviously, this is the first time I've done anything like this. It's more of a sort of vlog, blog thing. I'm doing more of this stuff. Let me know if you like it or whether I should just stick to doing straight up bike reviews. Uh, you know, they've got loads of ideas to throw at YouTube, but it's no point in me doing them if you don't enjoy them. So get busy in the comments and let's have a chat about it. Cheers for your time.